Here is a sample Casper written station with an expert response. Here is the sample prompt for your Casper written station. You are sitting in on a conversation between Tom and Jesse, two of your coworkers at an energy firm. Tom informs Jesse that he is having a tough time with a personal decision. He and his wife are expecting a child and his wife would like him to take paternity leave with her. He tells Jesse that the company is taking on a new project that he would lead and doing well in this project could significantly advance his career. Despite his excitement for parenthood, he is struggling between spending time with his family in the short term versus focusing on his career, which would ultimately benefit his family in the long term. He feels that if he misses this work opportunity, he will not get a similar chance for a few years. Additionally, claiming that the industry is largely male dominated, he feels that his boss would not be understanding if he requested paternity leave. He even recalls a time in the past when a male colleague who took paternity leave was penalized by being kept in the same position for years upon his return to work. Jesse turns to you and asks, what do you think he should do? Here are the three questions associated with this Casper written station. Number one, would you recommend he takes the paternity leave? Why or why not? Number two, what if you found out that a previous employee did get penalized for taking paternity leave in the past? Number three, should companies, particularly in male dominated industries, have more structured policies to support employees taking paternal leave? Why or why not? Here is the expert response to the scenario question associated with this station. Would you recommend he takes the paternity leave? Why or why not? Tom feels like he must choose between his career and spending time with his partner and newborn child, which is a challenging and sensitive situation. First, I would like to know the company's policy regarding paternity leave, so I would consult human resources and I would encourage Tom to speak with both HR and his boss to understand their perspective on paternity leave. I would also have a private and non-judgmental conversation with Tom to discuss his priorities. Does he prioritize spending time with his family? Or does he prioritize his career in terms of the speedy trajectory to promotion? If he feels strongly about spending time with his partner and newborn, I would encourage him to spend that time with his family. If he feels that prioritizing his career for the best interest of providing for his family and that sacrificing spending time with his wife and newborn is acceptable, then I would support this decision. This is a scenario question and we know this because it is putting you in a hypothetical situation and asking you how you would respond. The reason this is a strong response is because it follows our recommended structure of a scenario question, which is, first, identify the most pressing issue. In this case, it is supporting Tom and the difficult decision that he has to make. Next, we always want to gather information. In most scenario prompts, you are never given the full story. You must gather information through private conversations before presenting solutions to show the evaluator that you are not jumping to conclusions. Here. The expert looks into the company policy regarding paternity leave and also asks Tom about his priorities before presenting any solutions. Finally, you want to present those possible solutions using if-then statements. It is recommended that you start with the best case scenario to show that you are not being judgmental and assuming the worst in the situation. This response provides us with two possible solutions based on the information gathered. Here is the expert response to the second question in this station, which is also a scenario question. What if you found out that the previous employee did get penalized for taking paternity leave in the past? If I found out that a previous employee was penalized for taking paternity leave, I would first encourage Tom to speak to HR and his boss to confirm whether this policy has changed since that incident. If the company has made improvements and there have been new, there are now protections in place, I would advise Tom to weigh his priorities and make the decision that best aligns with his goals. If no changes have been made and the risk of penalization remains, I would suggest Tom consider alternatives like negotiating a flexible work arrangement to balance both his career and family time. If he still feels strongly about taking this leave, I would support his decision while encouraging him to document any potential issues that may arise. This is another scenario question, a follow-up to the first one with new information presented. Once again, this response follows our recommended structure. When it comes to the most pressing issue, it is the same as the first question. Therefore, there is no need to restate it. 
Casper stations are scored holistically and you want to make use of your time well, so avoiding restating information is key. The response also gathers information about whether or not this policy has been improved since the incident before providing strong solutions using our if-then structure again. Lastly, here is the expert response to the final question in this station. This time, it is a policy question. Should companies, particularly in male-dominated industries, have more structured policies to support employees taking parental leave? Why or why not? Here's the response. Parental leave policies, especially paternity leave, have become more prominent as companies recognize the importance of work-life balance. However, Many male-dominated fields still lack clear policies or face cultural barriers that prevent men from utilizing this leave. Structured policies offer several advantages. First, they promote work-life balance by allowing employees to take time off without fearing negative career consequences, leading to increased job satisfaction and retention. Additionally, they support gender equality by normalizing the idea that both men and women can take time off for family, helping to challenge outdated gender roles. On the other hand, accommodating parental leave could disrupt workflow, causing project delays or operational challenges. Furthermore, implementing structured leave policies may incur costs, especially for smaller companies that struggle with temporary hires or adjusting project timelines. Despite these challenges, I believe the benefits of structured parental leave policies outweigh the drawbacks. To address potential concerns, companies could introduce flexible leave options, allowing employees to take partial or staggered leave to minimize disruption. So this is an example of a policy question, and we know this because it is asking your opinion on a certain policy or issue. The reason this is a strong response is because it follows our recommended structure of responding to a policy question, which is, first, showcase your awareness of the topic. The first two sentences in this response highlight that the expert is aware of the policy and who it impacts. Next, you want to show that you're taking a balanced approach by providing advantages and disadvantages from the perspective of those who would be impacted by the policy. You always want to do this before you take your stance to show the evaluators that you are taking a non-biased approach. This response highlights two pros and two cons for each side of the policy. Finally, you want to address the question and take your stance. Once you do so, you want to provide alternative solutions or modifications. If you disagree with a topic or policy, be proactive and come up with alternative ways to address it. If you agree with a topic or policy, like the expert does in this case, it is important to highlight possible modifications to address the cons you suggested. This is addressed in the final sentence here. If you want to make sure you're ready for every Casper question type that comes your way, take a look at what the BMO's Casper Prep program offers at the link below. You can also find the link in the description of this video. We will make sure that you are ready for your Casper and we get you that fourth quartile score you're looking for. Stay tuned for more videos just like this one, where we will continue to give you expert responses to Casper questions, interview questions, and much more. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you're in the know right away.